So are these your portraits over here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I started out doing portraits. I do I do a lot of headshots. I do I do a lot of things just because I like doing it. There's a group of reenactors here called the Outlaws, and they let me photograph them as if they were all on tin types. So I I did a whole series of them, making it look like they were in the 1880s on tin types. And this is my grandmother. I shot her portrait at her 100th birthday when she was the Grand Marshal of the Town Rodeo. And the rest of these are just portraits I really sort of like having a historical bent with the portraits if I can. Now, I've got to admit, when they invited us down to the prestigious Art Museum of Southeast Texas, we were struck by the work of photographer Lynn Raff. It is said she never met a face she didn't like. I am adjusting this flash so that it gets me a nice even lay of light across where the, the subject is gonna go. Figuring we were next in line, we couldn't help but notice the intense focus Lynn has setting up for her next portrait session. Oh, you know, wear a collared shirt. Yeah. It's kind of special green here. So, you know, I mean, the photo session and all. I mean, well, you know. I mean, I've got on jewelry. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine. I even, I even comb my hair today. I mean, usually I just kind of let it do whatever it does. I kind of, you know, used to, I, I noticed you put yours back and, yeah. Is looks that really, okay? Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, we're here with a por portrait photographer. And, yeah. I'm sure it'd be fine. Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. No, oh, she's ready for yeah. us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where do, you, where do you want us? Bring me the beetle. The, 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 the what? Beetle? The bug, bring me that bug. Bring you the. This one? Yes. You want us to bring it to you? Him. He's my. Okay. He's my subject. I have the beetle. Is it gonna? What? Okay. Got it. His name on my hand. And on he goes. Bugs. I bugs. love them. I love them. Yeah. You can get the detail of these fabulous, interesting creatures. You're a bug photographer. I'm a bug photographer. I'm a fine art bug photographer. <laughs> well, there's all the difference in the world. A fine <laughs> art bug photographer. It's like taking a portrait. It really is. Except in this case, I, I'm assuming your, your, your subjects are deceased. Most of them are because it's, it's very difficult, it's very difficult to get, I know, it's very <laughs> difficult to get clear and accurate pictures if they're crawling, but if they're, if they're still, you can pull it off. Well, it may be portraits that have been Lynn Raff's bread and butter for so long, but it's bugs that secured a spot in this museum. This one, I photographed him, uh, he's backlit with a colored light because uh, to bring out some of the blues in him with a crystal bowl on. And that's, I just love that kind of stuff to make a, you know, a frame around it. I took this one in my front garden in the morning, just a common ladybug. This guy's my favorite. He's a, a Northern European moth. This guy's a North American. He's a, wal he, they hang out on, on walnut trees. He's a walnut moth. It's one of the things I like about the moths. This is the same moth with his wings up, actually. What is it about? these creatures that fascinates you so much? Just the detail. I like to be able to see more than just what you notice at a first glance. And if you get something that you was very familiar to, to you, like in my case, the cicadas were very familiar to me when I was a kid, you have all this reminiscing. And then when you can look at them with the benefit of the lenses, you can see all this other stuff you had no idea was happening. They have fur, for heaven's sake, and their, you know, their eyes are beautiful, their wings are beautiful. It's, it's just absolutely fascinating. And this one's a darn or dragonfly. The exhibit and book are titled, Small Worlds, The Hidden Beauty of Insects. What do people say about your photos? I have people that recoil because it's a bug. So initially they'll, they'll you know, oh, no, 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 too crawly. No, I don't want it, it's in my hair, no, no, no. <laughs> But when they, when they stop and look at it, they go, they go, oh my gosh, he's got a face. I didn't know that bugs had faces. I, I had no idea. And uh, 
they get fascinated. And just the colors, the colors are amazing on insects. I just want people to look more carefully at them and see how interesting they can be. Lynn Raff says there's a whole world, a whole beautiful overlooked world with wings and legs and furry faces that has always been there. We just never bothered to notice. It took a portrait photographer to capture these tiny critters in the name of fine art. Is there a message to what you're doing? Yes, the message is do what makes you happy and you will get a much better result at the end of it. And this makes you happy? This makes me very happy.